Well, tis the season to be jolly, but also for some unwanted things like viral infections, flus, and colds. Dr. Nuristani joins me now from Balance 7. He's here for his monthly health check-in. I always love these conversations. Doctor, welcome back to the show. Well, thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to this conversation and educating the audience. It's the flu season, so I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, I, I feel like we're coming into this flu season with uh, added information, having you know been through the pandemic, uh, washed our hands a lot, worn masks like we did, and now here we are talking about things like influenza and RSV. Uh, yes, I think, I mean, the flu season is in full swing. Uh, you, you know, it starts with October and ends in March. December is where they, it peaks. And uh, we are seeing now in the hospital a significant amount of patients with RSV as well as influenza. Yeah, it's interesting. I think there's a lot of uh, myths when it comes to RSV. Uh, people are saying that it, it, it's definitely uh, more vulnerable for the, for the younger and older populations. Uh, what are you seeing this year? Well, I mean, it's just kind of, you're, uh, you're absolutely right. Kids uh, and usually adult population gets it um, and they get really sick. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised this year, you know, everybody's getting it. I'm seeing all ages at the hospital, actually. I mean, just from, you know, just being kid and all the way to older, but also people in their 30s and 40s. Uh, so I think this year is a, a tiny bit different uh, than prior year for RSV and influenza. Uh, so just a little surprise uh, about it, nonetheless. Can you give us kind of the, the basics on viral infections? I think uh, sometimes we share information about how to keep ourselves healthy and we kind of uh, maybe forget the medical background behind all of this. How can we avoid viral infections this holiday season? You know, vi viruses are spread uh, through droplet. And so droplet precaution, wearing simple things like wearing your mask in a crowded places. If somebody's sick at home, make sure they wear a mask so they don't spread it. Wash your hands frequently. Make sure you take your vitamins and, uh, and to stay healthy. You know, exercise, keep your immune at top, uh, top level because there's really not many medication that we could give for a uh, viral infection that could take care of them. It has to go through their process, and it usually takes it somewhere between three to eight, you know three days to ten days uh, to get over them. So stay hydrated and take over the counter medication just to you know just kind of relieve the symptoms. You know the runny nose, the fever, the headache, the chills, things of that nature. So at least you're comfortable with. Doctor, I think it's interesting you you mentioned masks, and I think you know we all look at masks completely differently. Uh, you know, over the past three years, we've gotten to know masks very well. Um, as many of us travel, uh, get on airplanes during the holiday season, do you think it still might be wise to choose to wear a mask? You know, absolutely, especially now. I mean, we don't see as much COVID as now, but RSV and influenza is there. Uh, and this droplet, especially in crowded places, so you're bound to, you know, you just, you're bound to catch it if somebody's sick uh, in the plane. Now, uh, you know, depending on what kind of person you are as far as your health concern, are you a high risk individual, are you middle, uh, mid risk or low risk? Uh, for high risk individual, there's no question about it. You gotta protect yourself, avoid crowded places as much as possible and wear your mask because that, you know, you wanna protect yourself because your immune system is down and its ability to fight is so limited. But everybody else, as I said, precaution, precaution, precaution. So. Uh, if it doesn't, it, it doesn't hurt you to wear a mask. Well, you know, it just takes a few moments, doesn't it, uh, it, it, to catch a bug. And so, you know, if you can make it through the holiday season without getting anything, boy, will you be on top. Um, uh, by the way, I'm staying hydrated. I'm drinking my peppermint tea. Uh, doctor, you always talk about a product that you believe in quite a bit, Balance 7. It helps with the acidity in our body. Um, tell us how this might come into play in keeping our bodies healthy this winter. Um, uh, so one of the reasons why our body immune system is really not working at top notch or top level is because this acidic environment within your body suppresses that response. Uh, by you know having more alkalinity within your system, it allows your body immune system to function at top level and, and, and have the ability to fight some of these viruses. 
So the supplement we're talking about is just in extremely highly concentrated with pH of 11 too. So it does that. It just go in and just kind of uh, over time slowly helps your body to uh, your immune system to get boosted and fight the multitude of uh, infection and viral infection is one of them. Yes, absolutely. I know you believe a lot in this product. You take it every day. We had your founder on last month of Balance 7. That was a fascinating <laughs> interview. Amazing guy in his 90s. Thank you for this special offer, folks. If you are interested in purchasing Balance 7, Dr. Nuristani is offering 10% off when you go online and you use the code, the special word, AL10. By the way, the founder is Al, so that's where the AL comes from. Dr. Nurse Donnie, I look forward to speaking with you next month and, and hopefully everyone uh, stays well uh, from now till the next time I talk to you. Thank you so much. And stay safe, wear your mask if you're traveling. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder and all the best to you and your family. Happy holidays.